The RTX 50 series has been a disaster. It is NVIDIA's worst generation. Will AMD Radeon take advantage of this gen to take market share? Let's get into it. NVIDIA launched the RTX 5070 Ti and it was another disaster of a launch. Sold out quickly. It wasn't due to demand, it was due to lack of supply. Another fake launch, just like with the 5080 and the 5090. And oh yes, the MSRP of $750 was also fake, as most started at $900 and some even went over $1,000. So more fake pricing to go along with the fake launch. And with the recent rumors, the 5070 is also going to be in short supply on launch day, as it and the 5060 requires further debugging due to chip performance issues. Oh, that's great. NVIDIA delayed Blackwell for its AI customers due to yield issues last year, and I covered how that is affecting the launch of the RTX 50 series in that video. Now more issues with Blackwell having chip performance issues. Not to mention the black screen issues. Selling 5090 and 5070 Ti's with fewer ROPs and lower performance. And now NVIDIA GPUs are catching on fire. The 50 series generation is the worst generation NVIDIA has released to date. It's as if NVIDIA developed Blackwell for gaming as an afterthought and that they really didn't test it out as a gaming GPU, as if they really didn't care about gaming. Well, now that gaming is only 16% of their revenue and a whopping 80% comes from the data center, you can clearly see data center revenue tops gaming revenue by a 5 to 1 margin. So the focus is not there on gaming, and the 50 series generation is a clear demonstration of that. If NVIDIA is not interested in gamers, then gamers should not be that interested in NVIDIA. At least I'm not. The tagline for this generation should be, The RTX 50 series where you get fake frames and fake performance claims, and to top it off, we'll give you fake launches with fake pricing. The all new fake wall architecture. Brought to you by Jensen Fake Frames. Fake well. You won't forget it. Seriously, for any enthusiasts out there, this is the most insulting generation from NVIDIA ever. I thought last gen was the worst when I showed in this video how they shifted the pricing structure, but Fake well tops it. So it seems NVIDIA couldn't have had a worse launch, that they completely pissed off the entire enthusiast community. So here it is, AMD. NVIDIA could not have set up a more perfect environment for you. We have seen all the leaks on the 9070 GPUs. We have the specs. We have the rumored performance. The performance and rasterization and ray tracing is going to be right there to challenge the 5070 Ti. And while we have seen leaks in pricing, they are all over the place. And it really is the pricing that is going to make or break AMD this generation. AMD Radeon said in September of 2024 that they want to go for market share. They understand they are near 10% and they need to get to 40% if they want developers on board. Now just before the launch of the 7900 XTX in December of 2022, I did a video analyzing the market share of AMD and how it was at its lowest point ever. I said back then, AMD's Radeon brand is broken. And that is bad for PC gamers. If AMD does not become relevant, this will just result in NVIDIA acting as a monopoly and Jensen continuing to implement his master plan for ever-increasing prices of GPUs. We need healthy competition in the GPU market just like we have in the CPU market. We don't need one company setting ridiculously high prices and then the other company following along and sliding into that ridiculous pricing structure. That is not competition. And we can see the games that NVIDIA is playing today with its fake launches and complete failure to supply anywhere near enough GPUs to meet the typical market demand. Market manipulation for more money. That is what all monopolies do. In my video after CES, I went through my analysis of why AMD delayed the launch of RDNA 4. Now AMD has a choice to make. Will they price the 9070 GPUs against the fake pricing structure that NVIDIA said at CES? Or will AMD be greedy and price against the market pricing they see today? We are going to learn very soon if AMD's claims for more market share are genuine or if they are just as fake as Fakewell 
and Jensen fake frames. NVIDIA's disaster of a generation could not have made this any easier for AMD. All they have to do is make a layup. The goal is wide open, just kick it in. You just have to tap it in. Just think of it this way. Other team, pull a goalie, it's wide open. All you gotta do is tap it in. Tap it in, just tap it in. Give it a little tappy, tap, tap, tap a root. This will never be any easier. What are you gonna do, Lisa? The entire enthusiast community is watching. Are you gonna turn your back on them like Jensen fake frames? Or are you finally gonna fight for the market share in the GPU market like you did with Ryzen in the CPU market? What are you gonna do? Again, Jensen could not have made this any easier. Let me know in the comments below if you think Lisa is finally gonna go for GPU market share. Like it, share it, subscribe for more. You can catch one of my previous analysis videos that I referenced here. Thank you all so very much for watching. Stay safe, and I will see you in the next one.